from Mashoria Daytons Chaotic in Nairobi. <laughs> to Eric Omoni disguise himself from arrest. Criminals dancing to Anguka Nayo. Ruto must go. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Derry. October, Sunday, 28th, 2024, Mashuda Day in Kenya. Many Kenyans, Gen Z's, millennials, activists went to Huru Park to celebrate and also remember our heroes, our Kenyan heroes who took to the streets to challenge the corrupt government. And many of them lost their lives, many of them were injured and many of them are still missing till date. Take a look at this video of Eric Omondi urging Kenyans to show up at Uhuru Park. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm urging and requesting Kenyans from all walks of this country. Let us meet at Uhuru Park from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. We will be celebrating our fallen heroes, our brothers and sisters who died during the protests. Please come carrying a candle, please come wearing black, and please come carrying a flag. We will be with the parents and the families of our fallen heroes. Finally, it is Mashuja Day, and many Gen Z's, millennials, Kenyans, and activists woke up very early in the morning to go and occupy Uru Park. But when they arrived there to their shock, they were denied access. Take a look at some of these scenes on how things unfolded when the people of Kenya arrived at Huru Park. As you can see with your own two eyes, many Kenyans, patriotic Kenyans, were denied access to the public park, Huru Park. And this is what Governor Sakaja tweeted before the, the Masuja Day arrived. This is what he said in his ex account. Uru Park has been opened and remains open to the public every day. Every Kenyan is allowed to come and is welcome to enjoy their park. You can also book for events. A public park is, however, not available to be reserved for exclusive use during the public holiday. Other Kenyans will also want to enjoy. It can be reserved to any other day. This is totally nonsense. How can you say that a public park is not reserved? reserved for a public holiday, like Governor Sakaja, make us understand what you really meant. And instead of typing and tweeting nonsense on X, you should have come and 
gave us a solution, gave the Kenyan people a solution to where they should go and celebrate their Mashuda Day. So to me personally, this tweet is just purely nonsense because those other Kenyans are still Kenyans who wants, who wants to come and enjoy the Uru Park. But yet everybody, every Kenyan were denied access. This is nonsense. Ruto must go. While Kenyans were being denied access to Uru Park to celebrate their heroes, not far away from Nairobi County, Nairobi City, in Mombasa County, in Kwale, Kithure Kindiki receives the President, President William Ruto, and the First Lady to celebrate Mashuda Day. The Guard of Honor was commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Fed, but many Kenyans were not happy with Douglas performing Uncle Nayo in Kwale County. And some of them went on X and tweeted, one of them was mistress, and this is what she said. Latest traitors are Anuka Nayo hit makers. We met them, but they don't know we can destroy them. Despite all this, Kasamuel Makore came and defended Wadaglis, and this is what he had to say. You're shamelessly running a campaign to cancel Wadaglis on your page, right? Right? Because they performed at Mashuja Day at a state function. You know, this country be anything but an artist. There's no difference between you and that dictator which you're trying to oust. There's no difference between you and the system that you're pretending to fight. I'll say this because Anguka Nayo is not a song that was born in the protest. It's a song that came out before the protest, before we hit the streets. You don't support these guys because you were not streaming that song until the protests came. But the young men were in studio working hard. Let me tell you, you cannot cancel these guys. If those young men keep on steadily at their craft and hitting the studio they're gonna dominate the airwaves you don't stream their music you don't support them when's the last time you, you proposed them for a corporate gig for any mashuja day celebrations that you planned did you invite them even big bad ogre was not left behind and this is what he had to say about what douglas and their performance to the point where Gijano na Jituma, wame pata gig mzuri. Mashuja Day 2024, kiko takumbuka for the rest of their lives, bro. Wewe na ujinga yako, na upumpavu yako, na umaskini yako, umeka kwa nyumba ya mamako gasia, wewe. Ukinyoka, umeka kwa kila kika konesha, tu kansola ase. Oh, ah, gag this or judici to lua build, muli build nini, mother. Noli lipia studio te. Noli lipia studio. Nuli beba camera kwenda ku record hiyo video yake shoot. Nuli come up na hiyo dance move bro. Unaenda ku cancel nini wewe? Una cancel kitu ku build. Tuache utoto. This is my own take on this. It is good that Wa Douglas went and performed Anka Nayo in front of those criminals. Even when they are dancing, you can clearly see the guilt on their faces. That day event finished in Kwale County. Our politicians went to wine, dine and rest in expensive five-star hotels, but yet our officers was, were subjected to sad conditions. Take a look at how these female officers spent their night. So as you can see, Kenyans, this is how our female officers spent their night after the event. But don't forget that the guard of honor in that event was commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Faith Mogandi, making her the first female senior officer in this country, in this territory, in this land, to command the guard of honor. Like this country, this government is becoming day by day a joke to the world. Despite Mashuja Day being celebrated in Kwale County, did you know that the Kaya elders boycotted Mashuja Day celebrations in Kwale? Take a look at what Dr. Mumi Seraki had to say about this. 
This is for entertainment purposes only, so family. Uh, a lot of people aren't talking about this, but the Kaya elders are not in attendance at the Mashuja Day celebrations. They stood down and they said they were not planning to attend. So for the Kaya elders not to attend, that's a big deal because I actually think Kuala was chosen for spiritual reasons, but you'll start saying stories at Java Sidri, what, 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 anyway. Um, I've also been told that some county, some county staff have also uh, failed to attend. So when you see all these, for anyone who's watching, who's wasting their time watching, um, that's like their bash. It's the way you can call people to your house for a bash. And then if you are ballers, you will come with your choppers and everything. But it's not a national celebration. Uh, guys are heading to Occupy Uru Park. Back in Nairobi County, Nairobi City, Nairobi, Kenya, while Kenyans, Gen Z's, millennials, and activists were striving to access Uru Park and celebrate their heroes, some politicians, some government officials was, were seen accessing freely the Uru Park with so much impunity. Take a look at this. While the MPs were entering inside Uru Park freely, outside Uru Park, Julius Kamau was injecting and talking to the young people, the young Gen Z's, on why this government is not on our side and why we need good governance in this country. This lesson with this country is that we have refused to address the root cause of our evils, the root cause of our problems. Police killings have failed so many times in this country. It's a coronial vestige. And now we must address the root cause of this problem. It happens because we have refused to address the root cause of our problem. While Julius Kamau was addressing the nation, he was violently arrested. And this is how things went down. I'm ready to die for freedom. Freedom is a sacrifice. Yes, freedom. Freedom is a sacrifice. And you must not freedom. You must unite. And that's not all. Even Geoffrey Mosiria, Environment Chief Officer of Nairobi City, was also arrested when he went to tell the people that you cannot access this place. You cannot access Uru Park during public holidays. But little did he know that he will, he will also be arrested. Take a look. Events are not held there because families come there to enjoy. Sasawa. Chief officer have been arrested. <laughs> Wait, uh, Nairobi. Patriotic young Kenyans had high hopes to be allowed and given access to Huru Park and celebrate their heroes during Mashuja Day. But yet they were met with violence and brutality. Look at how these young Kenyans are being mishandled. In Juja, the people decided to inject. The deputy county commissioner tried to read uh, Ruto's message to the crowd, but yet the people there didn't want to hear any of it. Take a look at how things unfolded. Speech by His Excellency Honorable William Samoya Ruto, PhD, CGH. President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces during the first of the Japanese celebration held in 2020. 
While Georgia comrades were mercilessly injecting and not wanting to hear Ruto's message, back in Nairobi city, Hussein Khalid, a man who has always been fighting for the rights and the freedoms of the people, he was also arrested. And not only him, but 30 other young Kenyans were also arrested. Take a look at how Khalid, Hussein Khalid, was violently arrested. Uyu, uyu. Why are you arresting me? Why are you arresting me? For what mistake? Addressing the media? Is that an offense? Why are you arresting me? Where am Kubwa? Why are you arresting me for addressing the media? This is why we need to change this country. Lazima tabadilisha inchi. Things got so violent to the point that even Hezbon Bahati, an award-winning poet, was also shot with a rubber bullet and he got a fracture and that fracture, it requires surgery. This is crazy. During Mashuja Day when Kenyans were still striving and fighting to access Uhuru Park and celebrate, many people are complaining that Eric Omondi never showed up but he showed up and he had to disguise himself because he got some information that some people were planning to assassinate him. Listen to this. So a certain Gen Z policeman called me today at 6.30 in the morning and he told me they've been given orders to deal with me once and for all. His exact words were kijana metusumbua sana nini fanyini vinye mtafanya. So I'm here at Uru Park because I have to show up. Ndiyo hawa hapa Police in Johawa. Police in Johawa. Police in Johawa. Police in Johawa. Gen Z 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 in Johawa. Gen Z. Guys, I'm in town. The police are there. They don't even know I've passed them. Even a fearless Gen Z, Marvin Mabonga, Kyoto Sonko, he was representing well in the streets and he urged Kenyans, people to come out and represent and fight for the freedom of this country. Take a look. Why, why do you fear coming to town? I'm going to pick you up. Just come. Man, just come. Please. Because we need to do this. Else. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Hey, I'm going to go. 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 Under all this chaos, brutality and violence, 
this patriotic man came out to speak to the young people and to be honest his words were very very encouraging listen to this anakuja anatupokonya serikali yetu ya wananchi ila kuwa kampuni yake eh unashiki anatumalizia hata ulisikia huyo mjinga akachagua ah alikuwa anatuambia nini ati hii ni serikali ya shareholder hiyo ni kumaanisha nini eh unacheki kwa hivyo nyinyi vijana mshikamane na muskubali kugawanywa na hiyo siasa ya utinga ya ukabila kwa sababu umoja ni nguvu peace love and unity brings us together do you guys remember that tweet where governor sakaya said that uh, uhuru park is not meant for public holidays but meant for other people other people who want to enjoy themselves take a look at this video of this uh, tourist who came to kenya to enjoy himself but yet he was denied access to uhuru park <laughs> how come kenyan police are shooting me they shoot tear gas at me walking down the street they tell me to go home why what is the problem i don't know what the problem is they shoot they shoot tear gas at me and then they told me the police tell me to go home i shouldn't be here why to the park i'm coming from my hotel <laughs> Why are the police treating me this way? Why do they talk to visitors and tourists this way? Tell them to go home. You don't want me here? Huh? You have nothing to say. I'm still very very confused and wondering who are those other people that the governor was saying that they can be allowed to go inside the Uru Park and enjoy themselves. But yet other Kenyans were being arrested, brutally arrested and denied access. Who are those other people, Governor Sakaja? Who are they? Are they those people who are entering inside Uru Park with vehicles? And yet other Kenyans are being arrested. Are they the ones? While Nairobi County was the only county in Kenya which was very very chaotic during Mashuja Day, other counties were very very different. Like Kisi County. Take a look at this video of how these Gen Zs were entertaining the people there. Even in Nairobi city, despite all the chaos that was going on around, this man showed up in a very unique way and he put a smile on people's faces. Take a look. Tough and patriotic Kenyans continued to fight for their freedom, to fight for access to Uhuru Park and celebrate their heroes. Take a look at some of these scenes on how things went down. Those are just some of the scenes. So much happened during Masuja Day in Nairobi City. Also listen to this music song that uh, Eric Omondi has dedicated it to our freedom fighters and also to the people of Kenya. Listen to this. Wa 
msikize kwa makini Hili kuwa juni shiri na tano Vijana walishika na kupigania kizao Tulipoteza vijana kwa risasi Hili hali walikuwa kwa mani wakitembea Eric Shieni, David Chege na Ibrahim Wote walipoteza maisha yao inje ya bunge Ijana walifariki, dio sisi tukomolewe Rex, Kadike, Kennedy Onyango, Abdi Kadike Walipoteza maisha yao wakitafuta ukombozi Uwoi, uwoi, tijano walifariki, dio sisi tukomolewe Shujaa, Besli Kamal Haliipotea na bada ya kapatika na hamiaga Tunawakumbuka mashujaa wote Atutawasao kama Tunandele na safari ya ukumbuzi wa Kenya Kwa ajili na kwa shima ini Ruta Masko Ruta Masko Ruta Masko Ruta Masko Ruta Masko Ruta Masko Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.